The third lesson in kinematics is average velocity part one. The guiding question for this lesson is, how is average velocity different from instantaneous velocity? Well, instantaneous velocity is the velocity of an object at one specific moment. The speedometer in your car shows you your instantaneous velocity. So for instance, car A at this moment is traveling zero miles per hour, car B at this moment is traveling 55 miles per hour, and car C whew, is traveling 130 miles per hour. So we know at, at these specific moments how fast the cars are going, but we don't know if these cars are in the process of speeding up or slowing down. All we know is what's happening at this one very specific moment. Let's get into average velocity, and first let's see how displacement affects average velocity. Imagine we have a foot race between Isaac and Gottfried. They're both going to run for 10 seconds, and we'll see who runs farther. Isaac runs 40 meters, and Gottfried runs 25 meters. So who had the greater velocity, the greater average velocity? Well, if Isaac ran farther in 10 seconds than Gottfried, then on average, he must have been going faster. Um, he, he wasn't necessarily going faster than Gottfried at every specific moment, but over the course of the entire 10 seconds, he was moving faster. We would say that average velocity is proportional to displacement. Take a moment and carefully draw that symbol there. Um, we're going to use that a lot this year to represent proportional to. And we would say that this is a direct relationship. The more displacement you have, all things being equal, uh, the faster you're moving. Now let's see how average velocity and time are related. Uh, let's imagine another foot race between Nicola and Thomas. This time they're both going to run 30 meters and we'll see who runs it in less time. Nicola takes 15 seconds and Thomas runs, uh, takes 20 seconds. And I'll ask the same question, who had the greater average velocity? Well, if Nicola ran the race faster, uh, meaning in less time, then he had the greater average velocity. And again, Thomas could have been running faster than him at a couple of moments, but over the course of the entire 30 meters, Nicola was faster. We would say that average velocity is proportional to one over time. This is an inverse relationship. The more time it takes you to run a race, the slower you are going. Average velocity is a vector quantity, and it's the rate of change of position during some interval of time. We've seen that it's directly proportional to displacement and inversely proportional to time. The equation we can write for average velocity is displacement divided by time, and we'll see direct relationships in the numerator and inverse relationships in the denominator many, many times this year. We normally write it like this, v bar equals d over t, where v bar represents average velocity, d stands for displacement, and t stands for time. Let's take a look at a couple examples. A train travels 450 miles in six hours. What is the magnitude of the average velocity of the train? Notice I'm asking for the magnitude of the average velocity. We don't know which, which direction this train is traveling, and we don't care. So we'll use our new equation, v bar equals d over t, and we can substitute in our 450 miles in our six hours, and you should double check this math to make sure that I, I know what I'm doing. Um, I calculated this to be an average velocity of 75 miles per hour. Of course, the train speeds up sometimes, it slows down sometimes, it stops sometimes, but on average during this six hours, it's traveling 75 miles per hour. Let's take a look at one more example. A student runs a 100 meter race at an average velocity of 7.5 meters per second. How long will it take them to finish the race? Well, we can use the same equation um, and we can substitute it in our velocity and our distance. Uh, and this time we're solving for time, so we can, we can say that we cross multiply, we can say that we multiply both sides by t. Either way, we end up with t times 7.5 meters per second equals 100 meters. And when we divide by 7.5 meters per second, we find out that the time it took this student to run the race is 13.3 seconds. Let's address average speed briefly. Um, we've seen that speed and velocity are very closely related. And since speed is just the magnitude of the velocity, they're quantified using the same equation. However, if we're talking about average speed rather than average velocity, then V bar stands for average speed, D stands for distance, not displacement, and T, it still stands for time. All right, let's summarize this lesson. Instantaneous velocity explains how fast an object is moving at one specific moment, while average velocity explains how fast an object moved on average during some period of time. 
Average velocity is the rate of change of position during some interval of time, and it is directly proportional to displacement and inversely proportional to time, and the equation for it is v bar equals d over t.